show. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to, but a little bit of sadness too, to uh, invite Liam up to give his farewell to the student body. I think we all owe Liam a big debt of gratitude uh, for all that he's been able to do with us and for us this year. Uh, he, together with his council, have done an amazing job of uh, keeping us together as a school and helping us be the best people that we can be and having a lot of fun along the way. I think everyone will agree that Spirit Week this week, was, this year was among, certainly in my experience, among one of the best that we've ever had. And it was, it was a terrific experience all the way around and I really appreciate all that they did to make that happen. Um, sometimes when I tell other headmasters that we do something like Spirit Week, they think I'm crazy to let you guys do as, run as much as you do. But I always tell them I never have any, any doubts about you know, what it, that it's gonna come off all right, it's gonna be fun, and, and it's gonna be okay. And they, they just look at me like, we would never do that. So I think it's one of those things that makes Del Barton one of, very distinct in, in our culture in that, and as I said before the elections, in, at Del Barton, school leaders actually do have responsibility and the freedom to make things happen here. And Liam and his council have been great examples of that. And so, for one last time, it gives me great pressure, pleasure to introduce student body president, Liam Higgins. p.m. However, on this particular day, he decided to show up at 10. <laughs> By 7 p.m., my older brother and I were taking laps around Summit in that blue dumpy old minivan you guys have all probably seen, we just hunting for him, uh, but we just couldn't find him. By that point, I accepted the fact that I was going to Summit High and my dreams of attending Double Art were over. But after a few hours of waiting, and many ice cream sandwiches later, the mailman arrived with not one, but two acceptance letters. That day, my little brother Aiden and I were accepted into the tradition of Del Barton School. That day, my life changed forever. I remember while freaking out over the great news, my older brother Drew, who was a senior at the time, told me, enjoy your time at Del Barton because it goes by really fast. And when you're first holding that acceptance letter, you probably thought you had an unlimited amount of time here at Del Barton. I did too. But the more you get involved, and the more you make this place your home, the years seem to slip right by you. And as excited as I was to start this new chapter in my life, I was also extremely nervous. My two older brothers, Drew and Kyle, seemed much smarter than me, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to keep up with the score kid. I was doing great the first couple of weeks, but then I failed my first ever test at Double Army. Sorry, I missed a little bit. I was devastated. I never even came close to failing anything in middle school, so I didn't even see this as a possibility. When I got the test back, I was so overwhelmed I didn't think I would even make it till the end of the school year. I kind of freaked out. But I met with Miss Loveday shortly after, and she calmed me down. She told me it wasn't a big deal, it happens all the time, and if I ever needed help with anything, just to come see her during envelope. And of course I did. But I soon realized that I didn't need to meet with my teachers on every assignment when I needed help. I started to figure out that it was my classmates that were there for me the most when I needed their help. It was kids like, like Mark Kinnell, who would stay up late with me reviewing the night before a Latin exam, 
or Luke Anselmi, who willingly proofread the majority of my history essays. These kids helped me succeed here at Del Barton when I needed their help the most. It's only here where everyone is concerned, not just on how well they do, but also on how their classmates do. It truly is a community where everyone strives to help each other in order to succeed. I always assumed I would find the brotherhood in that first big pit at homecoming, but I actually found it in the classroom. Outside of the classroom, the bond among students is just as strong. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of rides I've gotten home from Del Barton students, whether it's been from school or practice or games. And what's even more unbelievable is how willing and happy they are to do it. And that's why I don't mind giving younger guys rides now that I'm a senior. It's how we were taught to put the other guy first because it's the right thing to do. That's what's amazing about Del Barton here, is that the brotherhood is contagious. And when one of your friends helps you on an assignment you've been struggling with, you want to help the next person. So that when you get that late night call asking to explain a math lesson, you won't mind doing it because somebody did it for you. And that contagious brotherhood I was talking about spreads into every aspect of Del Barton. You start to become interested in people's lives here, and you start to become friends with people you never saw yourself hanging out with. Honestly, even though you may not hang out with everyone in your grade or in your class, you still know everybody so well and take an interest in the people's lives here. Whether it's a summer league lacrosse game or a debate tournament at Harvard, you look forward to seeing how your classmates are doing because you care about them. And even though we have such a small student body of a little over 100 kids per grade, you still see packed stands at every sporting event or sold out winter musicals. That is why Del Barton is so unique. This right here, you can't find anywhere else. It's the brotherhood and bond that we have with each other that separates us from any other school. I'm proud to call all of you my brothers. It has been the most rewarding experience being your president, and it's something I will always carry with me for a lifetime. The relationships I've formed with you guys are ones I won't be able to take for granted in the future. Although all the seniors are going to do bigger and better things next year, it's still hard to believe that we have to leave behind something we've known for so long. I'm confident that Gianni and his council will do an excellent job next year, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. I want to leave you guys with a quote that I found while preparing this speech. How lucky I am to have known something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you.